The water supply lands of Metro Vancouver include over 60,000 hectares of forested land, so the region's ability to prepare and respond to forest fires is essential to protecting this critical resource. Watershed and environmental management have an inherited responsibility to conserve, protect, and if possible, enhance our drinking water areas. Since it's a closed, protected area, our greatest risk of wildfire is from a lightning fire. So we have to have crews that are able to respond quickly to put these fires out before they threaten our watersheds and the drinking water source. Metro Vancouver's fire protection crew is made of six seasonal and three full-time staff. They're ready to roll from spring to fall and on standby whenever wildfire risk is moderate or above. We train to meet the same professional standards as the uh, Type 1 firefighters who work for the BC Forest Service. Physical conditioning is, is a big part of uh, what we do. So coming back to work, getting back in shape. Uh, we spend a good amount of time doing preparation work, just making sure all of the gear is tested, functional, uh, making sure the trucks are packed appropriately and uh, getting our personal response kits ready. Training in early spring includes things like fire assessment, suppression tactics, chainsaw and pump use, first aid skills, and orienteering. For us, it begins with hiring a really high caliber of uh, crewmate. There are times with this job where it can be very stressful. You can be uncomfortable all day, and you really need to be able to rely on your crewmates. Staying attuned to the unique ecosystem of the Pacific Northwest is an important part of the job. Coastal fuel type is one that it usually takes a little bit more energy to ignite, but once the fires do get rolling in here, they can release a powerful amount of energy. With all that fuel and increasingly dry conditions due to climate change, a single lightning strike could quickly turn into a massive blaze. In the summer months, we're constantly monitoring the weather and we're constantly monitoring the fire danger rating. Anytime a fire is detected, we're gonna have trained staff that can head out right away, ready to assess and control that fire. Hey guys, we got a report of smoke up at 12K Smart Main Line. Are you able to investigate? Fires can be detected in a, a bunch of different ways uh, for us. Uh, in the area where the city meets the forest, uh, we rely a lot on our Metro Vancouver staff. They're out there in the forest and they're often the first ones who will detect something like a, an errant campfire. Our mandate is to get in, hit hard, hit fast, and, and get the fire contained as soon as possible. If we can catch these fires when they're small, then it prevents them from becoming much larger, much bigger problems. When you do get called, uh, you never quite know what you're going into. So having that ability to adapt is really important. And it's also important to be just continually learning. There's a lot of interconnectedness here and understanding how all of those pieces fit together is what's really going to make us more effective in the end. In a job like this, the stakes are high and the payoff is invaluable. Protecting the region's drinking water is extremely special to me. My kids drink this water and I know everybody in the region drinks this water. That's why it is so important to me. I love the variety of work we do. It can be a challenging job at times, but I also find that there's a really high degree of kind of satisfaction and purpose in the work. We have a really awesome team at Watershed Protection, and honestly, I'm really proud of uh, each and every one of them.